Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm hanging out with Eben and Roshin. And we are in Kerala on the northern Malabar coast. The next event for today is a wedding. <laughs> so a wedding. 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 Yeah. Kannur wedding, Malabar wedding. A uh, wedding is one of the best places for food as well as culture. Okay. When it comes to many functions, uh, the most probably the biggest function is wedding. Wedding, okay. In any of the houses. So we're on our way. Uh, we're going to show the cooking and the food and the entire cultural experience with you in this video. This is the place. So this, this is a wedding place, hall? Right? Yes. Wow, very it's a nice. Whole way we are oh, a whole we like... They just started house. the preparation. Wow. Okay, we have arrived. It's actually at a wedding hall. Wow. Looks amazing too. It's a wedding hall. Like oh. a venue for weddings. We are going to the kitchen. Alright. The great thing is that the family has invited us here early while they are going to do the cooking so that we can see the cooking before so the guests have not arrived at the wedding and it's actually going to be the reception, more of the reception, the dinner on the Malabar coast, the Malabar wedding. Uh, it's the, the actual reception takes place at night so the cooking starts in the afternoon. Hello chef. Hey, How are you? Very good. Thank you. Well, we have lollipop, oh, head chef. paneer tikka, mushroom. We have different varieties of dosha. 21, 22, 23, 24, 24. All together. 24 ideas. This is the menu. <laughs> 24 dishes. And we're just looking, this is the chef's personal notebook. Like, for this entire event, thousands of people are coming for this wedding. Chicken lollipop. Chicken lollipop. Uh, paneer tikka, mushroom. Chicken biryani once again. Fried rice. Wow. How do you call these big pans? Uh, we call it as chamba. Chamba means... Uh, a huge pan. There's like at least a dozen of the chumba going, flaming. It looks like a an industrial like factory of food. <laughs> Just smoldering fires, production of food on another level. Ingredients are just flying around by the pan full, by the bucket full, by the chumba full. And we're gonna come inside though first. Ah, they put the rice in this style of a of a chumba. Yeah. This is the traditional this style, the like the uh, bigger bottom, the cone shape. It's just so aromatic and they take it out of the, they shovel it out, put it in the basket, and that goes into the outside where they've cooked the meat to go into the biryani. There goes another batch. Over here, there's so many things happening at one time. They're going to put rice here. Oh, or more rice oh, here. Okay. Yeah. They cook the rice separately with ghee, with spices. Uh, you can see the, yeah, he tossed in cardamom, he tossed in some cinnamon. I think there's even cloves in this one. Um, and then once the rice is finished cooking, then they transport it. Oh, hello. <laughs> once the rice is finished cooking, then they take it by the bucket full, by the basket full outside where the big pots of biryani are going with the meat to mingle it together to then cook and just melt together. Have you ever seen a chicken curry this big before? <laughs> oh, it smells so good. It's just sloshing around. Wow. Just the instant, your shirt is just drenched instantly in here. <laughs> the fire, the steam, the smoke. <laughs> These guys are hardcore, yes. Every sense is overwhelmed. <laughs> and they're just working like oh, oh, They're just oh, like running, running around here. Yeah, running. Like exercising around here, stirring the curries. That is massive. That is huge. Oil. I mean, this is a pan of water. And although it's the same size as a jacuzzi, as a bathtub, it's not for bathing in, it's not for jumping in, or you would be you would be cooked pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, you would be you would be part of the banquet. We haven't even seen the whole kitchen, so we're moving inside to the, another section of the kitchen here. Inside here. Oh, what is this? <laughs> chicken fry, chicken, 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 fry. chicken for the chicken fry? Yeah. Chicken fry is, uh, spring chicken. Spring chicken fry. <laughs> 
That's, that's like fight. a Imagine this, is, uh, this is like a jacuzzi in bathtub, like literally four adults. Four adults can fit in this pan bathing. In this. 1,200 spring chickens are in this bathtub of a pan, the jacuzzi of a pan, 600 kg. This is the most amazing pan of food I've ever yeah. seen. Spring chicken. Spring chicken. Ah, so it is uh, young chickens. Spring, spring. Spring chickens. Okay. Wow. 1,200 spring right. chickens. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chili powder. Chili powder, okay. He's just like knife slicing them. Chili powder stunk. Wow. It smells so good. He's just knife slicing them and just like pouring it on. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm just I'm just in complete awe and shock and overjoy right now. <laughs> and the aroma is coming off of it. <laughs> like the the garlic ginger paste, the chili. It's just this is on another level. It's not cashmere chili, it's strong chili. Strong chili? Yeah. Oh, the cashmere chili is like, it's more fragrant, but not as spicy. Yeah, it's less spicy. Ah, strong chili. He just poured in, it was like already marinated, and he just poured in like at least like 20 of these right now. <laughs> just emptied out 20 of these on him. Yeah. Now stir it. Even the shovel weighs like 10 kilos, but you, he actually has to like leverage it. Wow. <laughs> And then you gotta go deep in there. You have to use leverage. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> okay. It's an incredibly hard job. The muscle, the forearms, he has to actually like dig down and then leverage, scoop it out. <laughs> wow. And yeah, you even like, even I just did it once and I can already feel it in my like, I can already feel a palace forming. My one scoop. And moving over to this room is where she is making shredding the coconut, uh, making the coconut milk for the whole event. It's like they set up their own market here for this event. Yes. Oh, he's making the prawns? Okay. So, Chef, this will be prawns curry? Prawns curry. Awesome. Just prawns, in time. Chi uh, red chili curry. Prawns, red chili curry. Uh, chef has added in uh, coconut curry. oil, then mustard seed. Garlic. Garlic. Ginger paste. Ginger paste. Green chili. The boiled uh, tomato. Tomato. Boiled. Boiled already, okay. Yeah. Coriander. Coriander? Powder. Powder. Yeah. The Kashmiri chili. Powder. Powder. So now, Chef is adding in the spices. Um, he added in a bunch of coriander powder, Kashmiri chili powder, which is less spicy, but um, very fragrant and more colorful, very red in color. And now the turmeric goes in. This is all for the prawn red curry. Now it's becoming like a paste. Coconut oil. Coconut oil. The wow. second time. And again, just no recipes used. We saw his notebook. It was just, he just wrote, straight wrote down the names of the dishes to make. No recipes, no amounts. It's just his knowledge, his experience, his, um, his, his skill, experience of knowing the ingredients, everything that goes in and without forgetting any ingredients, he knows.
and the ratios and the amounts. Oh, thank you. <laughs> he is just taking care of us. The people in Kerala are so nice too. I take that as a... I need to wipe my face. <laughs> the sweat is just pouring. <laughs> Only the only land the Malabar style. Uh, not Ajina Moto. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you, Chef. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Tea break. Tea break. <laughs> Everybody is so incredibly friendly here. <laughs> Tea break. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Oh man. Welcome. Amazing. <sighs> wow, that is so good. <laughs> I'm just in a, I'm in a state of like, just confusion, happiness, and ultra joy. Oh. Thank you, chef. Oh, hot jalebi. Hot jalebi. It's actually made in the. They make it right on spot there. Hmm. Oh, that just jalebi is. Yeah, crispy, fried, juicy, and crunchy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Outside it's crunchy, but inside full of juice, mm. sweet juice, and like that floral taste. Yeah. yeah. But this is a good size for me. Yeah. Just two bites. Yeah. <laughs> Not like those massive jalapenos. <laughs> this one is the tandoor. Paneer, paneer tikka. Paneer tikka. Oh, so they li they've lit up the tandoor. So they're heating it up now for the. The, the dish over here that they're going to be making at this station is the paneer tikka. Wow, awesome. Yeah, it's just like fireworks coming out of the barrel. 3,500 people are going to attend this video. <laughs> 3,500 people. Oh, that's why there's 24 dishes. And, but imagine cooking a meal for 3,500 people. Not only like one or two dishes, but 24 dishes. It's a monumental yeah. cooking yeah. feat, is what it is. And just the, the organization. It needs, it, the, it needs lots of planning, lots, lots of Lots of planning, yes. Yeah. Like, and just the way everything functions though. Like I, like I said, like the, the stations are well set out. The chef knows the management on what the timing is important. Exactly. The timing is like, it's crucial, you know, because you can't have 3,000 people, people roll up for the wedding and the food is not ready yet. Yeah, you know, that, it's timing that is. Embracing. Yes, embracing. exactly. And not. The timing is crucial, but chef is such a calm, such a cool guy, and he's actually a very well known chef in. Yeah, in, 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 Kano. in, in Kano. Kano, yeah. He has some next level management skills and like organizing skills. Onion. Fried onion. Oh. This one is for the chicken biryani? Yeah. Okay. Chicken lagon biryani. The special chicken. Special chicken. Biryani, sir. You could be for chicken grease? Hi. The sloshing around, you cannot, the curry leaves, you cannot even believe the aromas coming out of it. 
Okay, so it's now approaching, I believe, oh yeah, 5 p.m. And I believe that they said at 5.30 um, is when guests are going to first start coming the first round because the venue is not nearly big enough to hold everybody. So it's, a, it's kind of like an open house, I believe. People are going to come and people are going to stay and hang out and eat, stay for a little while and leave, and then other people are going to come. Uh, but all the waitresses and the servers, they're all lining up. So they'll get the yeah, food. Service, so. Uh, service. So they'll they'll get the food and then they'll go back to their station to be served, right? Yeah. Okay. So they're waiting for the biryani. Biryani. For the biryani. Hi, hello. Hello. They're about to lift the lid on one of the biryanis to get that served to go back to their stations to then be ready for the guests. Scooping down, he's gonna get to the meat and then fill up the plates and they're gonna go into the dining room to serve. And over here, the chef is still working on the prawns, prawns curry. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. Malabar style. Malabar style. Malabar style. That taste testing style is amazing. Amazing. <laughs> yes. Done. Thank you. And he just keeps giving us snacks and drinks, and we have no idea what station they come from. He just appears. I got a tomato with a something on the bottom and an onion. It's a mushroom. A mushroom. A lollipop. Yes, chef. Thank you. Lollipop chicken. Lollipop chicken, I believe it is the chicken wing drumstick, which is then pushed to the top of the bone, and then you get a little lollipop. Deep fried in coconut oil. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like the juiciest, most flavorful fried chicken I've ever had. All that hot. Dude, Joel, prepare for a life-changing moment. Try that lollipop. Wow. I watched them preparing by hand, each one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Gushes with coconut oil. For the lollipop chicken and then for the spring chicken, they're frying it in small batches because then guests are going to be arriving throughout the evening. Uh, they don't want to fry too much and then it sits, they're keeping it fresh. Uh, but So they were frying the lollipop chicken and now they're moving on. Now this is the spring chicken, the 1,200 spring chickens. Um, again, marinated in so much, he said the strong chili powder and so many spices, so much ginger and garlic. And again, deep frying in coconut oil. That just smells, I just, it's just like hot oil fumes are just everywhere. Because they just... Oh man, thank you. You can use this. Oh, to pick it up? Yeah, to pick it up. You, you try it. <laughs> Be careful. Oh, wow, so like succulent, so juicy, and oh. so that spice blend is out of control. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you feel the chili. Did you, you feel the chili? Coconut oil. Yes. Yeah, totally. The fragrance of coconut oil. That's one of the greatest drumsticks I've ever had. <laughs> and curry leaves. And curry leaves. So, this gives the nice flavor. Yeah. And the aroma. The fragrance. Yeah. yeah the fragrance. The fragrance. I think I could eat a couple hundred of these chickens. Mm. Mm. Prawns curry is to eat with, curry. with rice. With rice, with rice and biryani. The chef is personally serving us. He got some biryani. He added on some of the prawns curry and he's about to reach into the chicken curry. <laughs> Look at the scale. That spoon compared to the pan. Yeah, 
Thank you, Chef. Okay, man. Oh. Thank you, Chef. And we are sitting down a table. Oh wow, it feels good to sit down. People are starting to come. The indoor section is filled. People are lining up for the plates of food. Um, and then everybody, everyone that got their bowls of food, all the servers, then they go back to their station and then they serve you. Um, but Chef personally served us this plate of food with the spring chicken, with some of the chicken curry, with some of the prawns curry, with some of the biryani. I have to begin with that prawns curry though, on the rice with the bit. This is biryani actually. Mix. Oh, there's a chicken leg down here. A surprise drumstick. <laughs> oh, chef knew what he was doing. Mm -hmm. But this is the one, the dish I want to try the most, which is the prawns masala curry, because chef, I saw him make this entire curry. Mm. Oh wow, prawns curry is insane. Yeah, it's so rich. What I love about it is it's not like oily. It's just like pure, like gravy of spices the curry leaves and the more you keep on chewing the more of the ginger and garlic just like erupts on your <laughs> Dude, the chicken coconut <laughs> yeah I, I cheated i took one before that tastes you. like it tastes just like you can just taste the coconut oil like roasted coconut oil in there wow and like a cinnamony, profound, mm. just like, that's just condensed coconut. Mm. Chicken coconut, what uh, Mark is trying, it's known as Naden chicken curry. Because Naden means local. We call it as local chicken curry. Oh, so the actual chicken is like a, yeah. a chicken, local Naden curry. Chicken. Yeah, yes. And then, this is actual drumstick from the biryani. The chef is a genius. <laughs> Uh, every single piece of chicken is like a free range, like a perfectly textured, succulent, juicy chicken. Mm. And with some of the chutneys, some of the, oh, the coconut chutney as well. I'm gonna take more of this fried spring chicken with some of that coconut chutney on top. Check out that for a bite. <laughs> What amazes me is that, you know, I mean, this is a wedding. This is a massive wedding, a massive gathering, but the care that's taken and the quality of food. Like, you know, I often think that food in big portions, the quality is so far lowered, the taste is never the same, but they totally, like, they turn that, overturn yeah. that philosophy. Totally overturn. Yeah. I am happy and in love. Oh wow. Step, we are at the live dosa station. He's making dosa fresh. Um, he pours out that batter, makes it into the thin layer pancake. Um, and you can order, there's prawns, there's mutton, and there's chicken. We're getting all three, and a mix of all three in one dosha. This corner is oh, chicken. It's so juicy. Yes. Mm. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Order first of the of the triangular take, no, trifecta of dosha. <laughs> oh, wow. It's so good. It's so fresh. The spices, the black pepper in there, the prawns, and that dosha batter. Like it's gooey on the inside, and then so crispy and oily. Tomato chutney. Oh, yes, it is. <coughs> That's tomato chutney. You can just eat this dosha by the fistful, and it's just like, it's just the most oily, crispy, delicious thing. Wow. This is where the, the bride and groom are there. 
by the way, a huge thank you to the bride and groom and to the family of the wedding who have invited us, who have allowed us in. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Oh, okay. Very nice to meet you. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. We just want to say a huge congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for coming. very Thank much you. for having us. Thank you for coming. Beautiful reception. Thank you. Beautiful Thank wedding. You. Did you taste the food yet? The food is incredible. Uh, is it? Oh, is it? Yes. Okay, yeah. I have already eaten a lot of food and it's, it's so good. Oh, that's, that's good. Great. It's so good. That's good Thank to you. know. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. So Thank you. So very nice to meet you. Thank you. Same here. And Thank wishing you. you all the best for the future Thank also. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Maybe have another beautiful wedding. Maybe go for seconds as well. Thank you very much. And the couple, the bride and groom, they're so nice, so welcoming. They just have welcomed us out of their generosity. Absolutely a privilege to be here. And again, thank you to the bride and groom, to Roshan for inviting us, for setting it up, and to the entire family of the bride and groom for, for allowing us here. And, and also to Chef, the greatest wedding meal without a doubt that I've ever had. He had the patience to explain the things to us. At the same time. One way. At the same time, he was on over the phone. He was talking to somebody else and instructing them He's to prepare a, something else. An unbelievably talented man. Yeah, exactly. Unbelievably talented man. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, it was outstanding. Yeah. The entire experience. Thank you for your gracious hospitality. And finally, also, I want to say a huge thank you to Harris and Roshan from Seashell, uh, it's a beach home. It's a beach home that we're staying at. They have so many connections and so many amazing friends and they're the ones who arranged this entire experience of going to a Malabar wedding. They've been so gracious to us. They've been so, and they're such incredible people. If you are ever in Kerala, if you're ever in this region, come to Seashell Beach Home, Harris Beach Home. It is a very special place and they're they're such incredible people. And so again, a massive thank you. And thank you to Eben as well. I'll have his channel in the description box below. Okay, big thank you for watching this video. And if you haven't seen the other videos from this Kerala series of food and travel, I'll have the link in the description box so you can check out all the videos. Thanks again for watching. Good night from Kerala, and I will see you on the next video.